Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everyone is doing well. So making a new video, changing it up, so we're not doing coin counting or anything like that, but today we're gonna to be doing some cooking. Uh, and today we're gonna to be making puppy chow. Okay, so before you start making the puppy chow, or, or if you want to, uh, before you go finishing this video, here are the ingredients that you're going to need so you can go out to the grocery store or order them online. So we need Chex Mix. Okay, or I'm sorry, the rice checks, powdered sugar, semi-sweet chocolate chips, vanilla extract. I have uh, creamy peanut butter. You might be able to make this with almond butter or sun butter. Honestly, I haven't tried that. So if someone wants to make that, let me know how it goes. And then butter. So if you don't have those things, you can go ahead and pause this video, wait until you have it, or if you just want to watch it, uh, you can do that as well. So first thing I'm doing, I'm getting a microwave safe bowl. So make sure you're doing this with um, parents or whoever else is at home with you um, because you're gonna be putting some things in the microwave and it's gonna be hot, okay? So make sure you have some oven mitts as well. So I'm going to take, uh, looking at my recipe, one cup of chocolate chips. Okay, so you might need some help measuring some of these things out. There we go, that's one cup in a bowl. I'm going to take next a half a cup of peanut butter. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop it out and measure it. Again, like I said, you should be able to do this with almond butter or sun butter if you uh, have a peanut allergy. Um, I haven't tried it out, but I'd be really interested. Maybe next time I'll try that out and let you guys know how it goes. Okay, so I got a half a cup of peanut butter here. So I'm gonna scoop it out in my measuring cup. I'm gonna put it in the same bowl that I'm doing with the chocolate chips. As much of it as I can. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to stick the bowl in the microwave, it's gonna go uh, in the microwave for one minute, I'm gonna take it out and stir it, and then put it back in for another minute. Okay. While waiting on that, I'm going to get a big bowl here, I'm gonna put all my Chex Mix in here. stirring with the powdered sugar. Okay, while we're waiting, or actually I'm gonna go grab that now. Oh, make sure, I almost forgot, grab an oven mitt, because again, it will be hot coming out of the um, microwave. Okay, a little bit Chex Mix. Grab a new spoon, I'm gonna stir it. Make sure everything starts melting. I forgot to put this in the first time, but uh, you also wanna put your butter in there. So I might have to heat it up just a little extra when we're done. So I have here, this is a fourth of, cup, fourth of a cup of butter. Okay, put that in the bowl. Butter melts pretty easily, so it should be okay. Stir it up. I'm gonna put it in for another minute. Okay, 
Okay, while we're waiting on that, I'm going to take let's see, a cup and a, and a half of powdered sugar. Okay, so I'll pour it in here. And there's a lot of measuring here, so if you have mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, someone who wants to do this with you, it'd be a fun thing to do with them. Make sure it's level. Excellent. Okay. And then I have this last bit vanilla extract I'm going to add into the bowl when I start mixing everything together when I take the chocolate chips and the peanut butter out of the microwave, which should be done right now. Okay, butter melted, so that's a okay. I'm going to mix it and stir it one more time. Okay, everything's looking nice and melted, as you can see there. Now I'm going to grab my big bowl of Chex Mix. Okay, this is where it can get a little messy once you start putting the sugar in and everything. So I'm going to pour the chocolate chips, peanut butter, and the butter all on top. Try to get as much of it as I can. to go to waste. Okay, once it looks like you got most of it, you're going to start stirring everything together with the check space. And if you want to, while you start doing this, you can put a little bit of the powdered sugar in at a time. A little bit. Okay. Looking good. Try to get much of the cereal covered. Okay, I'm going to add the rest of the powdered sugar. And then I'm going to add my one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can measure it out. I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, and that's the last part. So it's still not mixed yet, so I'm going to keep on going. Again, you want to try to make it so most of the cereal has a little bit of the chocolate and peanut butter combination mixed in. And then make sure that a little bit of it's, or most of it's covered with powdered sugar as well. Okay, and then once you finish mixing this, I still got a little ways to go, you're going to take the bowl and stick it in the microwave, or I'm sorry, the microwave, the refrigerator, and you're going to put it in the refrigerator maybe about an hour or so because this mixture is still a little hot. Um, or if you want it to, or if you want to eat it as soon as possible, the other day I put it in the freezer for a half an hour and it got really cold, and that's when it tastes really good. So. That is how you make puppy chow. So if you guys end up doing this at home, send me an email, write me a message, or you could send me a picture of you making it or a picture of your puppy chow when it's all done. Would love to see that what you guys have made. So that's all for now. Okay. Looking forward to seeing all your pictures and hearing how your recipes turned out. I'll see you guys later.